What's up everyone? It's been a few minutes since we last did a video. I uh, can't believe we're six weeks out from Irwindale already. But on my side, I haven't been doing very much. Definitely not anything very much exciting. So yeah, we haven't been making any videos. As you're all probably wondering, how is the healing going? And it's going very well. Um, I'm doing exactly what they're asking me to do. So um, that's not much. <laughs> uh, we're going to physio. We're just making sure that it's going to get back to 100% as soon as possible. Um, I was planning to be driving at this point already. Uh, we were planning to go to Japan this week, uh, but unfortunately I went for an x-ray last week and the x-ray still showed that it was pretty not healed, the bone itself, and any pull from strapping yourself in or an impact could break it, meaning surgery and another few months down the road. So it's not worth uh, taking a chance. Um, so it looks like I won't be driving until I would say late December or the new year. That's not to say we don't have uh, some exciting things coming. Uh, I got one thing in front of me here now that we're working on. Uh, well, I'm not able to do that much, but uh, the lads are gonna be starting. We've already started uh, a new project, which I'll show you, and uh, it's quite exciting. Firstly, I'll show you what it is. So here we have a new build, and if you can see already from the quarter window, it's an S15, mint spec R S15 from Japan. Really, really clean, uh, clean chassis. Really, really good condition. We're building it as a proper full-on Pro drift car, very, very similar to the S14.9 build. So two Jay-Z, Samsona sequential radium in the rear, which we have already mounted. We're playing, playing a little bit with weight again in this build and uh, taking safety into consideration as well. So we, in the S14.9, we had the tank mounted back here, which was nice, but this car, we're just uh, a safety area, we're just trying to move it a bit more forward so there's more um, crash room if you do have a, a big impact. And uh, this car is probably not going to be used by me in competition. Um, I'll tell you a lot more details on what we're planning to do with the car in the coming weeks and months, maybe weeks, well, let's see. Yeah, it's a very, very exciting build. It's going to be... Full carbon Kevlar, pretty much everything on the outside, on the inside, same spec cage that I run, so Harney cage is the main hoop back, so it's going to be built for driver of any size. Um, we're doing it exactly as we did the S14.9, but from what we've learned in the last couple of years, a few small changes as well. So uh, V3 front wise fab, dry some 2JZ, you can see the fab work is pretty sweet. Like really, really nice, tidy build. Nice transmission tunnel in there. And under the bonnet, very similar to my own cars with the front top panel. Nice and nice gussets and uh, just absolutely sweet fabrication work. Lots of room for your transmission. This car will be built to uh, the highest level and I uh, can't wait to to get stuck into it. So we're actually planning to have, well, look at that man up there smiling. We're planning to be painting uh, this chassis, I would say hopefully before the new year. Mikey is gonna be going to town on this, uh, this paint job. So we're gonna spend a lot of effort prepping the chassis and just having it as mint as it can be. So I think this car will be a serious level and I'm very very excited to see the finished product and it's going to be even more exciting to see what we end up doing with it. As I said, I mightn't be driving it myself, but there's some very exciting things coming. Maybe even for you guys. Back here we have the RX-7 sitting and waiting for someone to drive it. It can't be me right now. Huge thanks to everyone that got involved for the Black Friday sales. Um, we've moved a lot of stuff and the support has been amazing. It was really cool to give out some cool random parts to people. Uh, the sign print sold out and we're so happy with, with the new RX-7 merch as well. It turned out really, really nice. So huge thanks to everyone again for the support. So yeah, we also got a cool delivery from our friends at Type S. So Type S sent us on one of their dash cams. I was never a huge dash cam fan or really was that bothered about them until Irwindale. So I'll tell you why in a second, but this is our new S402 Pro dash cam, 4K, 
dual view, which is sweet, so you can see out the front, see out the back. Really nice packaging. In Arundel, when I had my crash, um, there was no GoPros running in the car. Obviously, as a driver, sometimes you're turning them on, sometimes you're not. Um, it's easy to forget, but only for this, we would have had no footage of the actual crash from the inside and I must have watched the onboard footage I would say 50 times myself and like seeing the sparks and seeing the impact seeing the speed that we hit the wall at 82 miles per hour this got it all what I'm planning to do is install these into all my drift cars over here because if you're at a practice day you know you're, you're just having some fun sometimes you forget to turn on the cameras something might happen any lap like that surprised me I wasn't expecting to have the biggest crash of my uh my career in that lap so these always have you covered and also very very important in street cars too because anything can happen at any time so i personally learned a lot from the crash at Irwindale and uh definitely having these in every time your ignition is powered on you have this recording so i'm a big fan and thank you for type s to supplying these to all of my cars over here so yeah mike he is uh modeling modeling I love that. Yeah, no, I love the hoodie. Uh, it's really cool. I wanted to do um, something with this under the banner because I love this setup and the detail they got between. Show me. Right, the engine details to what it actually looks like. Yeah. Very, very cool. Very happy with how it turned out. Yeah, and the other news that we have is uh, this is especially uh, another reason why I'm taking care at the moment because uh, we shipped our S14.9 out to the Middle East in Oman. Uh, we're going to be competing in the Oman International Drift Championship this year. I have competed there in the past in 18, 19 and 20. We always had a brilliant time. And ever since then, there's more international drivers going to Oman every year. So the competition is going to be high. We got a number of top European drivers, uh, Juha Rintanen, uh, Chirba and um, Fontan and a good few more. And a lot of the top Middle Eastern guys and there's people from all across the world traveling to this. So. Starting off the year strong, it's going to be great seat time to go to Oman in January and uh, have fun with the team, get out of this cold weather and I'm very very excited. So the car is already loaded in the container, shipped off and uh, should be there by the 31st of December. So we also have a couple of surprises coming with that car once the car hits the ground in Oman. It might look a bit different to usual but uh, yeah I'm very very excited to get behind the wheel it's been a it's been a minute definitely the longest time i would say i haven't driven i would i would say maybe since covid or something like and I, like it's it's six weeks already and it's going to be another five weeks maybe so yeah definitely the longest gap i've had in driving for a while so i'm definitely going to be very hungry when i get back behind the wheel and i'm very excited for it anything else guys I think that's it. Yeah. Mikey's rallying at the weekend. Mikey's rallying at the weekend, sitting in with Jack Shanahan. He's a brave man. <laughs> Can't take a camera vlog the whole thing. Might have a toy face on me in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Showing my scary faces. So we're going down to the rally at the weekend uh, to support um, Mikey and Jack. And uh, have a good time, because that's all we can do at the moment. Next week we'll be getting the S15 on the, on the spit. We must mount the seats um, make up the, uh, fabricate the place for the dry some tank install a radiator make room for the quick change in the chassis a few details seam welding the chassis all of that kind of stuff so there's a lot coming up on this in the in the coming weeks but very excited hoping to have the car finished sometime early next year and it should be a very cool build so thanks for watching stay updated and uh, thank you all for the support